In this unit, we're going to learn what a function is. So function is a relation between x and y. We have some other name for x and y. We can call it the domain, and for y, we can call it a range. Sometimes they call it dependent variable for y and independent variable for x. So try to learn all these terminologies for x and y. So there are four ways to represent a function. So we can use mapping to represent a function. We can use order pair for the fun to represent a function. We can use table values to represent a function. And we can use graph to represent a function. I'll give you some example. Mapping. Mapping, usually they have two like oval shape. And we usually put x on the left, y on the right. So if I have, say, 3 and 5, these are elements of x. And then we have 7 and 8, 7 and 8. And we use this little line to represent a function. So this is a function, all right? But if you have something like this, you have, say, 1x matching to 2y like this. You have 9, say, 101 is x. This is y. This is not a function. So in a function, x cannot be matching to 2y's. But if you have a relationship like this, if you have y here, x here, and you have, say, 3 and say 3 and 5, and you have 6 here, now you have 2x matches 1y. This is still a function, all right? So try to remember, when you have 1x matching 2y's, that's not a function. So all the pair, again, we have all the pair like this. You have 3, 5, and say 6, 7. This is a function because this is x, this is y. I just use x1 to represent a different x, and y1 represent a different y. But they are function. But it's showing in an order pair style. But you have you you have three five and then you have three eight. This is not a function because one x match two different y just like these things. But if you have say three six and then you have five six, let me write down. This is not a function. And if you have something like that, now you have one y matches two x. This is a function. Table values. So we can represent a function by using the table value of value like this. So x and y. So you have say one three. I just you know. Off the top of my head, I come up with some number. That's all. It can be anything. Three, say hundred, and then we have four, one thousand. This is a function, all right. But you have a table value like this, x and y right here. You have say one to five, and then you have one to hundred. Now one x match two different y's is not a function. The last one is the graph. Take a look at this, x and y. So every x you match only one y. You see that every x right here, you have only one y. Every x, you have one y. So this is a function. But if you have, say, another graph, x and y, say you have a circle, and look at this. You have one x here, but you have two different y. This is not a function. Now let's practice on what we just learned. Remember, in a function, we cannot have one x can match with two y. That's the key thing. So look at all these all the pairs. Does it represent a function? Sometimes it's hard to see from the numbers, so we can represent all these number in a mapping format. So we write down the x element. Remember the first is the x, so we have negative one, we have three, another three, we don't have to write another three right here anymore, and then we have negative one. So we don't have to repeat writing the same thing. But y, here's the y, here's the y, here's the y, and the y. So we write down negative one right here, and then we have eight, we have three, same three here, so I don't have to write it twice. So when you do the mapping, it's negative one, go to negative one, good. And then three, we go to eight, and then three, go to three. Once you find like one x match two y's, it's not a function. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to draw x and y in a mapping format. We have three for the x, negative two for the x, five, and zero. For y, we have four, four negative 9 and 5. And we try to do use the line to represent the relations. So we have 3 go to 4, and then we have negative 2 go to 4, and then we have 5 go to negative 9. We have 0 to 5. So every x match a unique y. Even though you have two x's go to one y, that's okay. So this is a function. The next example is a little bit different. This time we don't use the number. We use like door, chair, star, moon, and paper, but they represent the same thing. So let's check. Do we have like one X go to two Y? No, we don't. So this is a function. And if you check this one, all X 
go to one unique y. Again, there's no one x matching with two y. So this is also a function. Now let's look at different types of problem. In this problem, you just look at the graph and decide whether it is a function or not. All you have to do is just imagine there's a, like, a vertical line parallel from left to right, left to right in this direction. If that vertical line cut two points, it represents 1x matches 2y. And if you find that, this is not a function. Let's try it. So, so far, if I put this line right here, you cut only one point. But if you put right here, look, you cut two points. So this is not a function. So we do the same thing. Look, we cut the one line here. We cut one point, but when we put here, you cut two points. So this is not a function. When you put a line right here, we cut two points already. So it's not a function. Check this one out. We move the vertical line all the way from left to right. Every time you move the line, you only cut one point. So this is a function. So we move the vertical line from left to right. Again, we cut two points already right here. So it's not a function. For this one, if you put the line right here, you cut only one point. Can only one point, you can only one point, you can only one point here. So this is a function. 